Hey, thanks for stopping by the channel. Today I'm going to show you how we give our chickens and quail a dust bath. I'm just about to replenish their little containers, so uh, I'll take you along and show you how we do it here. Alright, so what I have here is a bucket of dirt, a little pail of wood ash from the wood stove, and then diatomaceous earth, and that's food grade diatomaceous earth. You always want to use food grade around animals. And I'm going to put it into uh, this one for the chickens, this container, and then this little container for the quail. And I'm going to screen the dirt and the ash with uh, this quarter inch hardware cloth, but you can use a little sifter too if you have one. Now chickens will bathe in whatever they can. They'll just dig a hole, they'll move around in straw, leaves, bark, whatever. Uh, chickens will be chickens, but I like to just start them out with a nice dust that the diatomaceous earth and the ash are mixed with that uh, fine dirt and that gives them a good coating of all those materials and keeps them bug free. When I screen the dirt, I'm just trying to remove any sharp objects, any sticks, any rocks, just to start with a nice clean mix of dirt. All right, so there's a nice bucket of pretty well screened dirt. So now let's go for some wood ash. I'm gonna use the sifter for the wood ash just in case there's any little nails or anything in there. Wood ash in the dust bath helps to suffocate parasites such as mites, lice, fleas, and ticks. Wood ash can also be used as a feed supplement. It contains calcium, potassium, phosphorus, and magnesium. It also has antibacterial qualities which can prevent an open wound from becoming infected and it also works to stop bleeding quickly. I add a little bit of charcoal to the dust bath and charcoal can act as a laxative or a detoxifier and it also can help with deworming to a certain extent. I put the mix of dirt and wood ash into the dust bath container and then I mix in the diatomaceous earth. The diatomaceous earth is good for killing off mites and fleas and other insects that have an exoskeleton. The diatomaceous earth scratches that skeleton and dries out the bug. I don't measure anything out, but you just want to make sure that you have enough wood ash and diatomaceous earth mixed in with the dirt so that it coats the birds when they start uh, taking their dust bath. There's varying opinions on how much diatomaceous earth to use in the dust bath, and there's also concerns about uh, respiratory issues using diatomaceous earth. So you're going to want to do your own research and uh, do what you feel comfortable with. I've read that some people use a 2 to 1 ratio of dirt to diatomaceous earth, and that's two parts dirt, one part diatomaceous earth. Have at it, girls. I think I might need a bigger dust bath for these guys. They don't wait their turn like chickens do. They'll just pig pile in there. At least the other ones below are getting a shower. There, that's a better size. The quail dust bath container is 12 inches by six inches, and it's probably about four inches tall. And again, I don't fill it because with all the fluffing of the feathers and the scratching, they're just gonna empty a lot of it if you fill it too high. When you give your chickens a new dust bath, it's also a good time to treat the inside of the coop with diatomaceous earth. Now I don't do that when the chickens are in there because it wouldn't be good for the chickens to breathe that straight diatomaceous earth in a little confined area like a coop. The chicken's dust bath container is 24 inches by 16 by 6. And I don't fill it all the way because they'll kick a lot of it out if you fill it too high. Okay. 
so there you have it that's how we uh, fill the dust baths here for our birds and uh, by the looks of it I think they're all pretty happy all right thanks for watching and we'll see you next time